Super Bowl Sunday, everybody, and welcome into this special edition of Undisputed. We're only hours away from the big game on Fox, and we're going to get you all set here. All those last-minute tidbits you need to know to get you set for the big game. I'm Jen Hale. Welcome in. Good morning, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. The moment is here. Good it morning, is. Jen. Mr. Sharp, allow me to disqualify myself right out of the box. As a lifelong diehard Dallas Cowboy fan, I hate the Philadelphia Eagles I have since I was 10 years of age. But my Cowboys have been pretty tough to love of late, so maybe I can be remotely objective today about those okay. lousy Eagles. I mean, they've been to the uh, Super Bowl three uh, times yeah, in the no, last. <laughs> who, who knew? I guess it's time for you to get a new team. But we're still America's team. And so I love America's team. America's team. watching somebody else. <laughs> How did it make you feel? They would prefer to be watching no, that, the that's Cowboys. Not what they, <laughs> that's not what they would prefer to be doing. <laughs> I don't know who told you Let's that. dive in, guys. There's so much to get to today to get everybody ready for this one. Let's start with our two quarterbacks, shall we? Here. Shannon, who is more valuable to you, Jalen Hurts or Patrick Mahomes? Well, I feel very comfortable in saying neither team would be here without their respective quarterbacks, but I think it's, it's a no-brainer. It's not even close. Uh, I think Patrick Mahomes is the more valuable of the player. I think the MVP war signifies that. I think he's asked to do a lot more. He has less talent around him, uh, overall talent from a uh, top to bottom, offense, defense, special teams, than what Jalen Hurts is working, working with. And that's not to take anything away from Jalen Hurts because Jalen Hurts had to do the work. He had to put the time in to get better at throwing the football because his legs just wasn't going to be enough. And so he put the work in in the offseason and he got better at throwing the football Hence, spinning second in the MVP voting signifies that, that he wasn't just a runner. He's also a great thrower of the football now, Skip. But if you look at his body of work, Mahomes' body of work, 10-3 and three in the postseason, 32 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Hurts is 2-1 and one in the postseason, three touchdowns, two MVPs. Uh, two interceptions, excuse me. But it's the body of work, it's the overall, the cumulative effect. If you look at the regular season, if you look at the postseason, the come-from-behind victories in the Super Bowl, the come-from-behind victories in the AFC Championship game, the come-from-behind in the wild card in the divisional rounds, excuse me, not the wild cards because he's never been in the wild card because he's always had home field advantage throughout. Yes. So when you look at that body of work, five straight AFC Championship games, all of them at home, three Super Bowl in those five years, two MVPs in those five seasons, two 5,000-yard seasons in those five seasons. I think it's a no-brainer. And this is not a knock. Sometimes, Skip, when you say this guy is better than that guy, people think that you're kicking the other guy. That's not the case. I'm not saying that Jalen Hurts isn't valuable. <sighs> he's very valuable to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. But I don't believe he's more valuable, not only to his team, but to the NFL than Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Patrick Mahomes is the top dog. He's been the top dog for a period of time. And I don't see that changing for the foreseeable future. Mm. By the way, little known fact, uh, you mentioned Patrick Mahomes' playoff record. Would you believe Patrick Mahomes has never won a road playoff game because he's never played a road playoff game? You know how good you got to be to have all uh, I guess play? so. Five straight AFC championship yeah. games at what that, So what does that mean? Huh. I've had the best record in the AFC. Huh. That's what it means. Tom Brady, 7-4 and four on the road in playoff games. But that's water under the bridge. Well, if he was the best player, he shouldn't have no get going on the road. Yeah. Shannon Sharp, you said this was a no-brainer, so I must have no brains. I will disqualify little. myself up front. I have no little, brains. Little, little. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I believe that you and a whole lot of others out there are overrating Patrick Mahomes, in part because of his no-looks and his left-handed passes and his behind-the-back passes and between-the-leg passes and all of his globetrotter passes that make up Mahomes' magic. And I, I honor all of the above, but I think it misleads people, it blinds people to the facts. I believe that in the very biggest games, Patrick Mahomes has not been Brady-esque. In his two Super Bowls, very little-known fact, maybe I'm the only one that noticed this, but would you believe that in his two Super Bowls that he has played, Patrick Mahomes has thrown a grand total of two touchdown passes against four interceptions? That's two to four, mm -hmm. and that is not exactly Brady-esque. So in that first Super Bowl, he was very fortunate to win against San Francisco because he threw two late interceptions, which I'll get to in a few minutes here. But he had a whole lot of assistance from the other quarterback, Jimmy G, as in Jimmy Gag, who played a horrendous fourth quarter or I believe Patrick Mahomes would be 0-2 in the Super Bowls. And, of course, he lost head-to-head -head against Brady 
31 to 9, and he pretty much stunk. In, in fact, I'll go all, but by his MVP standards, he stunk in his second Super Bowl game. So he's been the QBR king, as Patrick Mahomes, in his five seasons of starting mm -hmm. quarterback during the regular season. And number now, one. Number one. Well, he's, he's, he's led the league over the last five seasons mm -hmm. with a cumulative mm -hmm. average of 77. Would you believe in his two Super Bowls? His average QBR, that scale of 0 to 100, is 53. That's just a tick above average. And even though he did lead the NFL and QBR once again this regular season, and I congratulate him on the regular season MVP that he did win, I'll say it again. I believe Jalen Hurts had a little more valuable regular season and should have won the MVP. And you say, well, you can't argue with Mahomes' numbers. Well, yeah, you know, I actually can because obviously Jalen got hurt late in the season. Mm -hmm. He missed two games to Patrick's playing all 17. And that's why in the end, Jalen lost the MVP and finished runner up. But again, think about this. Mahomes averaged 38 pass attempts per game this year through 17 games. Jalen Hurts averaged 31 pass attempts, but would you believe they both completed 67% of their attempts? Yes. Yeah. And would you believe that they both, per completion, averaged exactly 12.1 yards per completion? Yeah. So 67% and 12.1 would tell you that when Jalen did throw the ball, he was just as good as Patrick Mahomes. But there is a big difference here because Jalen Hurts ran for 760 yards in just 15 games. You did? And would you believe that Patrick Mahomes ran in 17 games for 358? So 760 to 358. So Jalen's the much better well, well, and more effective and impactful runner so, than Patrick. So one guy, Jalen Hurts, threw the ball 31 times a game. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes threw the guy, ball 38 times a game. Now I need to go to touchdowns. Mm -hmm. How many passes did Jalen Hurts throw for? How many touchdowns did Patrick Mahomes throw for? Okay, I'll just sum it up this way for okay. you. Because Jalen scored a whole bunch of touchdowns with his legs, 13 did he, of them. He did. Score, he did. Mm -hmm. So if I average, if, so if I put together Jalen Hurts' touchdowns throwing and passing, mm -hmm. would he have more touchdowns than Patrick Mahomes Throwing oh, and passing. Oh, only I mean, slightly throwing and because in the games that they played, <laughs> Patrick averaged 2.6 touchdowns per game. Jalen was 2.3, so he was just a tick behind. 2.3 behind. touchdowns behind, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. 2.3 per game, yeah. and he played 15 games to 17 right. games, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to degree of difficulty here. Preseason, Patrick Mahomes' team, even without Tyreek, having lost Tyreek, had the third best Super Bowl odds going into the season. Correct. Well, Jalen's team had the 13th best Super Bowl odds. So wouldn't you think it would be much harder, longer odds for Jalen to do what he did for his team than what Patrick did for his? We pretty much expected Patrick to be pretty to very good. But nobody expected him to be that good, considering you took away a guy okay. that was an all-pro. You took away that guy. But... Jalen Hurst also added A.J. Brown. They also added Hassan Reddick. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to tell me the big-time free agent addition mm -hmm. that Patrick Mahomes got. Patrick Mahomes had it, 13 guys have at least one catch that went for 20 yards or more. He had nine guys that had at least 15 catches. He said it was going to be the same. He was going to be the same Patrick Mahomes, but it was going to look a lot different. They don't have quick strike, big play capabilities like they had with Tyreek Hill. Skip, this is not to diminish Jalen Hurts, mm -hmm. but if you look at the body, you said 31 to 38 mm -hmm. pass attempts. Hurts had 31. Patrick Mahomes, but look at the passing yards. Mm -hmm. He's almost almost two grand ahead of him. Okay, yet uh, you being a Hall of Fame tight end, you neglected to mention that Patrick is throwing to the greatest pass-catching tight end in NFL history named Travis Kelsey. Yes. Am I right about yes. that? Yes, yes. You neglected to mention that this year, after all of, of your rants and raves and excuses that you made for Patrick in the past, especially against Brady in the Super Bowl, Patrick had the number one offensive line pass-block win rate this year. Best protection in the league belonged to Patrick Mahomes. But he got sacked less than Brady. Okay. I mean, he got sacked more than Brady. Okay. With well, the that, best pass What do you always tell me? Scramblers get sacked more than pocket passers. Yeah. And he is by, by instinct a scrambler. Yeah. He loves to play backyard throw on the run football, okay. right? Okay. And by the way, wouldn't you think that Patrick benefited from one of the greatest offensive minds in the history of this yes. game, belonging to one Andy Reid, Big Red? Wouldn't you yeah. say he yes. benefited? Yes. Uh, does anybody even know who calls plays for Jalen Hurts? It's Shane Steichen. Who even knows? I, I didn't even hear his name during Super Bowl. We right. brought up because nobody cares. 
Andy Reid, Shane Steichen, Andy Reid, Shane Steichen. I think I'm going to give a big advantage well, to Andy well, Reid in this game. Well, Skip, you, uh, can I go back to something that you said earlier? You said okay. Patrick Mahomes has thrown two touchdowns and four interceptions. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking, how many touchdowns have Jalen Hurts thrown in the Super Bowl? Mm, none. We're what about you to mean? find out. You're about to see three today. So, so in his second year, in his second year, Patrick Mahomes' second mm -hmm. year, he went to the Super Bowl. This is Jalen Hurts' third year, right? Mm -hmm. So in his second year starting, Patrick Mahomes' second year starting, he was in his second Super Bowl. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill. Oh. Wow. At the, hold on. They had all those mm -hmm. same guys yep. when they had Alex Smith calling the plays. Okay. A Andy Reid called plays. Okay. All, Tyreek Hill was there. J Travis Kelsey. Nobody. And this is not to take a shot at my nephew because I think he's spectacular. And I told you, Skip, three years you got ago. got a lot of nephews, man. <laughs> I, I do. I, I, I do. Yeah. I do. Got Michael. Michael, too, now. Okay. You heard Michael? Michael? Yeah, yeah, Michael called me on. You ain't see him? How about Kevin Durant? Is he now your nephew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. called me you on, too. He called me, he okay, called me on, too. Way to go. Skip. Travis Kelsey never got mentioned in the GOAT tight end conversation until Patrick Mahone came along over the last five okay, years. But and we're he, about to talk about this. He credits Andy Reid for most of the above. For his success, he said it's Big Red, okay? I, I, again, you, you have a one-two punch in Andy I, and Patrick. I, I think the thing is, Skip, is that Andy took a special liking to this kid. He called him. He, did, he yeah. thought he was special. Yeah. He's, and plus, he said, Get, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Put your brother on the phone. I'm not going to have any problems with this kid, Emma. He said, nope, you're not going to have any problems with him. So I think that, put that Jason minute, on the put, he put his older brother Jason Davis on the phone, center, right. who, okay. who yeah. Andy drafted when yeah, he was he in did. Philly. <laughs> so obviously he likes the Kelsey. He know he was going to get a hard worker. He All just... Right. Uh, the, 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 baby bro the baby brother likes to party a little bit more than he the does. older brother. That, that is a fact. Okay, back to Jalen Hurts. Last year, he turned the Philadelphia Eagles into the number one rushing attack in pro football yes. because running the read option, he's got magicians' hands and instincts right. that are way underrated because they're subtle to Patrick spectacular, right? Yes. The, 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 how you run the read option isn't going to make YouTube highlights. Right. But left-handed no-look passes are going to stop the internet cold, right? It's yes. going to break the internet, yes. okay? And yet this year with Jalen at quarterback, they fell to fourth in rushing, which is still top five. But why did they fall to fourth? Because in the offseason, as you just hinted at, he turned himself into a deadly pocket passer when called four. Yes. So all of a sudden, because he was a much better passer this year, he should have vaulted to the top of the MVP race, yet I think he got docked because a lot of people went into this season thinking he was a liability as a passer, dating all the way back to when he was drafted because even the Eagles fans were booing the draft pick that was wasted right. on Jalen Hurts in the second right. round because he can't throw the football. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. But but, but he, he dispelled that. He did the work in the offseason, Skip. I look at him like this. One guy made a fortune in real estate. The other guy made the fortune in tech. Okay. One guy invested in Google right. and Microsoft and all that. That's Patrick Mahomes. And so you see it rise to the top with a yep. rapid ascension. Okay. The other guy was slow and steady. He just got better and better and better. From the moment Patrick Mahomes burst on the scene, Skip, he was, he was tech. He was. I, I give you all the above. Yet, the moment that Jalen burst up the draft board, I tweeted, like, instantaneously, the Eagles just stole Jalen Hurts. So I, I first guessed this. I didn't hop aboard the bandwagon when it started rolling this year. I said that Jalen Hurts will immediately be better than a guy that you used to love, as you called him, walk it to him, Wentz, yes. right? Carson Wentz. And I said that immediately he's going to change life, Jalen Hurts will, right. in Philadelphia because he'll start to change the culture. I've told you all year long, all two years long, his intangibles, Jalen's intangibles, are a little better than Patrick's. And to your point, I'm not blasting Patrick. I'm not trying to dismiss Patrick. I just said they're a little better because he is the driving force of the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. He is the, the leader in the locker room. He is the leader in the weight room. He's the leader on the sidelines. He's the leader in the huddle. He is the key play playmaker, as I think he will demonstrate for you today, for the Eagles. The reason they are there are this young man's football character, his backbone, his football IQ. Remember, he was coached and raised by a, a co uh, his father, who was his high right. school coach, and his father taught him right. And you can just see it now that uh, I'm going to guarantee you that that Patrick Mahomes is going to have to play way better than he did in his first two Super yeah, Bowls to beat Jalen Hurts yes. in this Super Bowl. Because yes. I'm going to demonstrate quickly for you. In that first Super Bowl against the 49ers, 
with five and a half minutes left in the third quarter, they're down 20 to 10, and he threw a bad idea, what I thought would be game-losing interception, if we could see this one. It, it's just horrendous. And I thought, well, that's so much for Patrick Mahomes in this Super Bowl. Again, late third quarter, and it's just a bad idea. I, I don't know if he if he just didn't see the linebacker, but this this is the first big mistake that I said, I, this just could be game over. Then we go to early fourth quarter, and he turns right around down 20 to 10 and does it again. Right. He's behind and a little too hot well, for Tyree. He was trying to save Tyree, because yeah. look okay. at the safety. Right. His safety was going to decapitate Tyree. He, he, if he'd he let, if, if he he let Tyree, okay. Tyree wouldn't have finished okay. that game. So all in all, it's it's actually just a bad idea that did not work out because it was tipped into an interception. Right. So all of a sudden I'm saying, well, now, wait a second. Are, are you are you sure about this guy? Because that's not exactly Brady-esque. And then he missed Emmanuel Sanders, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. did late in the game, or we might be having a different conversation. But, Skip, the thing was that, yeah, we can say Jimmy G. And Jimmy G did not play well down okay, the stretch. Just remember, down the fourth quarter, 3 of 11 for 36 yards and, and an interception and the, and the missed throw. All from Jimmy Gag. From Jimmy G. Yeah. But Skip, at some point in time, the guy has to open. If they open the door, you got to walk in. Atlanta, Tom Brady's down 28-3. Matt Ryan had to open the door. He did. But Brady, had, because we, how many times have we said, Skip, the game was right there for the taking, regardless of the sport, football or basketball. Skip, that game was there for the taking. They just didn't take that it. That is correct. Okay, the game was there for the taking, and Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs took it. So they instead did. of saying... Because at the end of the day, he still had to make some throws. He asked for Wasp. They called timeout. He's like, what do you think about Wasp? Yeah. I want that play. He did. And he, he got had, it. He lot of, had a lot of help from his counterpart, Jimmy Garoppolo, because that game was Jimmy's to lose, and yes. he lost it. Yes. Right? Because, anytime you have, anytime you have a, a, a lead, I mean, we look at Cousins when they came back from, what, 33 down. Yep. Or we look at when the Houston Te Houston, Houston Oilers yep. blew a 32-point lead in the playoffs. Yes, you have to get some help. But, Skip, you have to take advantage of that. How many yeah. times have we seen people try to help other people, and they don't take advantage That's of right. the said help? Jimmy G could not capitalize. And then next Super Bowl against Brady, Patrick just stunk start to finish that game through two more interceptions, yeah. no touchdowns. And it was just one of those games where everybody said, well, Tom was too good and next. And then I remember yeah. not this well, year. I don't but know if it was Tom too good. I think the, uh, uh, I think Tampa's defense was outstanding in that okay. game. That was one of the better defensive performances that you're going to see in a Super Bowl. Okay. Last year's AFC Championship against Joe Burrow at Kansas City. Not yes. this year's, but a year ago. Yes. Remember, Patrick is up 21 to 10 at halftime, and we get to 233 left in the third quarter, and he reopened the door yes. for Joe Burrow and company. If we could do the interception that he threw to B.J. Hill, just careless, ball tipped up, and all of a sudden they go right down and score and hit the two-point play and tie the game up, and then here's overtime. They, yes. they win the toss. That's a bad throw. And then the second one's at a worse throw because it's almost. But if you six. watch him, look at yeah. it, he's aiming. Yeah. If you look at he's him, aiming. he's aiming yeah. the ball. Look at, look at that's not Patrick Mahomes. Okay. And then the third play, this is third and ten from the twenty-five. You've won the toss, and you force one up to Tyreek, and it gets tipped by Jesse Bates, Devon Bell, and it's picked off. And here comes Joe Burrow, and they just march right down, boom, 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 for a walk-off field goal, and he loses a home AFC Championship game. Yep. And then I kept saying to you all year long on this show, are the MVP voters watching these games? Are they watching the end of, if we can see at Indy, this is this regular right. season, with just a few, se eight seconds left, they're with almost within field goal range. They need a, a 10, 15-yard pass, 10-yard pass, and he double pumps and forces it, and Stephon Gilmore gets him, tips it up into an interception. You right. can see where the field goal line was. And they lose the game on a game-ending interception. And then here's the Buffalo game at home. And I'm saying, are you guys watching this? That's a, a double pump, careless pass that Buffalo intercepts. They needed to go score a touchdown. But again, this is Patrick Mahomes, and he's done some great so, things. So I'm, I just want to yeah. make sure I'm hearing you correctly. So you yeah. believe that in every game that, that Jalen Hurst has played, he played flawless football. Well, obviously not. But I'm just saying that the onus right now is on a Patrick Mahomes. And I keep saying, am I the only one who's seeing these big game 
epic fails by Patrick Skip, Mahomes? The man, Skip, you do realize this is his third Super Bowl appearance okay. in five years. Yep. You do realize he has two regular season MVPs, yep. an Offensive Player of the Year, a 5,000-yard pass, two 5,000-yard passing season, two seasons in which he's led the league in touchdown passes. Okay. He's the number one guy in QBR over the five-year stretch. That is a large sample size. Okay. That sample size does not say failure. That sample size does not say come up small. That sample size says this is the best quarterback because okay. what wide receiver can say, I got the highest yards per attempt, I got the the, uh, the most targets, I got the yep. most yards, most touchdown catches over a five-year period, and they say, well, somebody else is better than him. Okay, I got you, but I'm also going to promise you this. If Patrick comes up small for a third straight Super Bowl, and I believe that Brady played better in all of his Super Bowls than, than Patrick has in either of his two Super Bowls. I, you, you, so you think, no, you looking at Brady's skip, the man passed for 140 yards, and he got 55 of those yards on the final drive. Okay. If you think Brady played better than Patrick Mahomes in his first Super Bowl, then Patrick Mahomes played better. I don't know what game you're watching. game-winning drive. That's, that's what I'm looking That's what you're MVP. looking at. Patrick Mahomes was the MVP. Okay. All right, but but he stunk up until Brady Jimmy stunk Ruffalo up until apart. then. Skip the man. Well, they just didn't ask him to do very much. Why? When they asked him, why? He why went. didn't they ask him to do it? Because they didn't believe he was capable of okay. doing uh, it. And by the way, in the second Eli Super Bowl, which was his one off game, he had a QBR of 84. So that's that was pretty great. If he doesn't play great today. I think somebody other than me is going to start saying, wait a second, we sure about this guy? No, I don't think anybody's going to say, are we sure about this guy? I think they're absolutely certain about mm. this guy. Okay. We'll there, are some, there are some things that you might not be certain mm. about. Mm. Patrick Mahomes isn't one of them. Really? Huh. Not what the video says. But... <laughs> yeah, what, I don't know what video you watch it. Mm. I think you Guys, edited the I video. Think I think you doctored the video. Adds Doctor up to a wonderful treat for <laughs> viewers and football fans because both these quarterbacks are so much fun to watch. Yes. It all kicks off Super Bowl Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.